Guns N' Roses, Appetite for Destruction. Oh my God, the history behind this album. Check it out. The original album cover, shown here, was based on a painting by Robert Williams. And Geffen Records said, uh, no. <gasps> so then, Axl Rose wanted to put the space shuttle explosion on the cover. And Geffen Records said, uh, no. <gasps> the album cover ended up being designed by Billy White Jr., who was a tattoo artist, and it denoted the five band members at the time. The skulls were Axel's idea, and the rest was all Billy White Jr. Mike Klink produced the album, but originally Paul Stanley from KISS was lined up to produce it. Stanley wanted to change a few of the songs, and the guys wouldn't have anything to do with it. Now, how about this song with this interesting Axl Rose intro? I'm in love with a girl! I'm talking about I'm in love with a girl that I can't live with! So these guys are jamming at the band's house on Sunset Strip, and Slash starts playing this circus riff while making faces at Adler. Izzy's listening to all this and says, Hey Slash, play it again. Well, I don't think I can remember. If she can stand it, I can. Play it. Izzy came up with a few chords. Duff laid a bass line down. And Adler came up with the beat. Now this all happened while Rose was upstairs, but he got inspired, started jotting down lyrics, and claims the song was about his girlfriend at the time, Erin Everly. Sweet Child of Mine was the band's only number one hit. Slash thinks it's the worst song the band ever did. You know, because the song to me was so... I always complain about it because it was so up-tempo, ballad -y kind of thing. Really rubbed me the wrong way. The band has called the song a joke, they've called it filler music, and also called it circus music. Not bad for a song that hit number one in 1988, hit number one again on the rock charts in 2011, made the charts again in 21-22, and their shirts don't look too bad either. So, go figure. So what's your favorite GNR tune? Leave me a comment. <laughs> 